Hello Redbugs, it's Jade with another guide today showing the best armor for ranged combat in Assassin's Creed. If you want to take out enemies from distance, maybe thin out the ranks before you go into a fort and then just do a few final little kills, then this armor suit is going to be the best one. It's the Huntsman. You can find it in Leicestershire Shire and Grantsbridge Shire. Three pieces in Grantsbridge and two pieces in Leicester. So I'm going to take you through every single thing you need to know. So I cleared out Grantsbridge Shire first and in doing so you need to help a Viking reclaim her town and then go after the person that took it away from her as well as find the betrayer. During the course of that you're going to raid a fort called Ravensburg. So this is where you're probably most likely going to find the first piece of Huntsman armour unless you went north and started helping her eyeball in the Leicester Shire region stories. It's just southwest of Grantsbridge Shire Major Town. You can see it there on the map. This armor set basically gives you more damage from range. So as long as you're 20 feet away or 20 meters, you will do much more damage with any arrow shots or anything that you're using like that. Next, we're going to be going northeast to the Soam hideout. So this is directly from Grantsbridge again. Lots of swamp lands here, so you may want to bring your boat. You won't need a raiding party for this one, there's only maybe 8 or 10 enemies just guarding around the outsides mostly. You'll find some carbon ingots here too, so it's definitely well worth visiting. There's some good vantage points up higher if you get towards the centre of the huts and then kind of work your way around taking enemies out with your bow and arrow from distance. The entrance to this place is right round the back and it can be a little bit more guarded but it should be okay to get inside. There's no other way that you can get in from the top of the roof or anything. Break open the chest and you get access to the Huntsman Breaches. All these pieces obviously belong to the Wolf family and you can see it's all superior already so you don't have to worry about upgrading it that much. We're going to be going swimming in the next location, Besant Son Tour. It's pretty atmospheric and moody. The easiest way to find this one is just go directly south from Ravensthorpe. Jump down and there'll be some ruins in the middle of a small pond lake. There is an artifact treasure hoard map at the top of the ruins, but I'm not going to show you that. You guys can work that out yourselves. Also, if you swim underneath right where the circle is, you should eventually find a little entrance, and that will get you a carbon ingot in an underwater chest. Just break open this door. You're going to have to do it a few times. I find it's always a little bit buggy, or maybe it is just meant to take three or four swipes, and there you'll see the chest with the carbon ingot inside. Anywho, what we're really here for is this waterfall. Now there's two entrances, but the first and most easiest one to get through initially is just going through the waterfall itself. Inside you'll find some small little loot and there'll be another plug hole where you can swim through to get the van braces. Swim through and you'll come across a chest next to a tree. As I said, there is listed another doorway or stairway, but I couldn't actually find it, so I ended up just going out the way that I came. But right, here's where you get the van braces, and if you've got all the other armor pieces, all you need now is the helmet and possibly a cloak. And of course, I'm going to show you where they are. Now, these are pretty spread out all across Leicestershire Shire, so you definitely might want to have done both regions by now, or if you're going to be doing the second region, I did Grantsbridge first, then Leicestershire. But it's all power level 20, so you shouldn't really have to worry too much. Whatever order you do it in, it should be relatively easy to get. Next up is the cloak. I'm going to go going to Temple Bra Fort, which is in the very northeast of Leicestershire Shire, just on the Trent River. There's a great big massive fort here. It is looking like you're going to be here for some story content, and there is some abilities and lots of ingots you can get in the main part. But we're going to be going just off to the left, right in the river, and that's where we're going to find the cloak. There are quite a few guards in this region, but you should be able to pretty much either wade around with your horse up to this area, or maybe take your boat or a smaller raft. I wouldn't recommend raiding it just yet, I'd save that for when the story content takes you here. You can go ahead and disable all of these turrets as well though, and it will stop any other soldiers from shooting at you in case you do alert them. But yeah, take them out, and then there should be a little watchtower directly behind you. There'll be two guards inside and shouldn't be too much bother to assassinate them both. And then you're going to be aiming for the ballast that you can see. You're going to shoot both of them and it's going to break open a doorway to down below. Climb down and that's pretty much it. You've found the cloak. And that just leaves one final piece for us to go and get. As I said, you can go ahead and do the rest of the area in the big castle fort area. You'll find the ability 
piercing shot, which supposedly allows you to shoot through walls at enemies. I find it's pretty uh, aspicuous. You can only shoot through certain things. So again, might not be necessarily worth it just yet. I'm going to play around with it though a little bit more. But yeah, you end up taking out this room full of enemies and you shouldn't be able to find it a little bit more difficult than that. You pretty much get into this area by scaling the outside castle walls and making your way over the rooftop and rope lines. So next we're going to be heading west of Tamworth Fortress. Obviously that fortress is a big part of the story when you face or you go and meet Abba. But near west of it you're going to find a place called Torsusen. I'm really terrible with these names. Uh, it's a big fort area, a hilltop one, and this is where you're going to get the helm. Now this is relatively simple. You can find a way to get in right around the back and here you're going to find a longhouse. Cross over the line here and you should be able to get into the top roofs. So you're going to need to get a key that's going to open up the next area. Now there's quite a few guards in here but they do tend to go asleep in the rafters nearby. You only really need to assassinate this one and then try and get out the way you came. Although it's pretty hard to climb back up. Anyhow, get rid of this dude, pick up the key and then just escape out the longhouse, hopefully undetected. If you now go right to the south of this fort area, you'll find a little cliff face and a doorway. There's a guards guard in the top of the cliff. You might want to take him out as it's pretty easy then to take the rest of them. You can shoot at the ballast there and it will kill all three guards below once you've got a better aim than I have, that's for sure. And there you go, all three, job done. And then maybe take one patrolling guard out that's mooching around. Inside the doorway you'll find a slope and a set of structures that you can climb down. In fact the slope will take you down super quick and then to get back up you're going to have to climb the structures because you can't climb the slope as it's too steep. But follow it down and you will get to the Huntsman's Helm and this is going to be the final piece and that's all five pieces. So that's going to give you additional damage when you shoot at enemies from more than 20 feet away and you get, do get additional speed. Obviously when you keep upgrading it you're going to get even more benefits to it. Next door you'll find the Raven Distraction ability so you might as well pick that up as well. And there you go, that is how to get the best ranged outfit, I would say, for a big chunk of the game. Like, I haven't come across anything as good as that for taking enemies down from distance and then getting into your objective or your target much quicker and easier. I quite like the look of the helm. I like the idea that it's got these spiky little forms and stuff on top of it. Uh, the rest of it's a bit meh bit hunterish I guess that's what you're going to have loads of furs and stuff but yeah I think it's a pretty decent armor hope this has been helpful if it has make sure you leave me a like go and check out all my other Assassin's Creed guides and I'll see you at bags for more very soon